Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Hello, what is going on lads? Ellie 96 Lewis, how are you all doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And in this video, we are going to be doing another episode of my Road to Glory. However, in this video, I'm going to be talking about something called investing in FIFA 21. Because I've had quite a few questions recently of people saying, Lewis, I've got X amount of coins. What shall I do with it? Lewis, I've got this, I've got that. What shall I do? However, to start off the video, uh, this, this is uh, what my team's looking like. Yeah, uh, I, I got annoyed last night and rage sold my team and we've brought in a couple of new faces. Rodrigo is someone who I've used quite a bit on my main account. He's unreal. He, he, he's unreal. He, that's all I can say. Triore, because I've turned into the one thing that I swore that I'd never become. A rat. But either way though, we are going to be going through and updating this team because we've been doing some trading and then I'm going to show you how to invest your coins and all the rest of it. However, if you do enjoy this video, please do drop a like on it. Comment today is going to be what videos would you like to see on FIFA 21 right now? You watching this video, even if you don't comment a lot, please just comment on this. I'm, I'm begging, I am begging. What stuff do you lot want to see on the channel at the minute? Because when I've not been doing my Road to Glory stuff, those videos have actually been doing quite well. It's a bit worrying. But it is what it is. If you are new around here as well, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to click the link in the description. Go over to my Twitch. Follow me on there because I've streamed today actually. So a lot of the trading that you're seeing here, you won't see it in this video because it was on a Twitch stream today. And go and follow me on Instagram as well because I'm following people back and I'm doing daily trading tips over there at the minute. However, as you can see, I've been trading with Hamoso. been trading with Florenzi. I've been trading with Bellerin. I've been trading with quite a lot of people. And this has just been from my chem style trading method. Now, if you don't don't know what I'm talking about if you click the link up here or over here there will be a link to a little trading method that you can go and use to get you some easy coins and as you can see in the top left we're currently on 35,000 coins our Florenzi has just sold on at 2.6k we're waiting on a couple of other cards to sell on this Bernat hasn't sold on who I picked up at 3.2 which is a bit of a shame it is a bit of a shame I may have to sell him for a loss however though I've made around 25,000 30,000 coins this morning just by doing this and I want to talk about investing because it's something that so many people have ask me about Lewis how do you invest in FIFA 21 and in this video I'll tell you the theory behind investing if you've clicked on this video thinking you're going to get investments I'd click off to be honest man I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news but you ain't going to get investments from me because if I sit here right and I say invest into I don't know Thiago Silva is the best player blah blah, blah. he's going to go up to like 20,000 coins you lot are all going to go and invest in him there's going to be a massive massive surge some people are going to make money a lot of people are not going to make money and what's the point in that? So I need to teach you all the theory. Now I've jumped over to the SBC section because you can use the SBC section to help determine your investments if you want to. So you can go for SBC. Basically, the reason why I've gone over here is to say, right, you can do investing around SBCs, but you can also do investing around, I don't know, the foot champions coming up this weekend, or you can do investment investing around another event. Basically, the reason why investing works is because there is demand for the card that you are picking up. Now, it comes down to this, right? Supply and demand. If the supply is higher than the demand, the price will go down. If the demand is higher than the supply, the price will go up. And that is all you need to know about investing. So when you're trying to pick your investments and you're trying to decide what to invest in, what you basically need to do is find a reason why that card would have demand. So for example, if I'm looking at SBCs and you know what, we'll use the player of the month because there's going to be another player of the month. So for example, player of the month, team of the week players, minimum one, overall rating 83 on that first one right there. Fair enough. Premier League players, one. 84 overall rating. So, say for example that this was the next SBC which was coming out for the period of the month. Say, say that this was what it was and we already know that what these requirements are going to be. What we would do based off this is we would invest in 83 rated cards and 83 rated team of the week cards. Why? Because they'll be needed for this SBC and it will create a demand for those players. Likewise with the Premier League ones, we would invest in 84 rated players and potentially invest in a couple of 84 Premier League players. 
because they're needed for this SBC. So basically what you need to do is find good times to invest in these cards for things that are coming up in the future. Don't go and invest in this SBC, it's already out. You basically need to be ahead of the curve and the quicker that you can do that, the better. The best thing to do, in my opinion, is take a look what was going on in FIFA 20 last year and we will jump into Footbin in just a little sec and try and work out what cards were doing at different points in the game and then try and relate it back to different events that were happening. For example, say for example, I don't know, loads of Premier League players went up who were left back and 84 rated. Maybe you needed left backs who were 84 rated from the Premier League and once you get into that mindset of what are these cards needed for, you will make good investments. Or say for example, you're looking at cards and you know that they may be lower on this day and they'll be higher next day. That is still investing. It's just a different variation of investing called flipping. If you want to see a video on that, I don't know, smash over... I don't, I don't even want to do a proper one because we never hit the light target. Just smash a load of likes on this and comment down below. There you go. So, lads, I've just jumped over to Footbin here, and I just want to show you as an example of a, a type of player that people would have been investing in last year. So, the player that I've gone for is Parejo. Now, last year in FIFA 20, as you can see, I've set it to FIFA 20 over here. Last year in FIFA 20, he was an 86-rated card. Now, with Footbin, what you can do, you can check what players' prices were at different points in the year last year. And you can see right here that it goes absolutely all over the place. So, you can see over here, this is when he came out into the game. So, he came came out in September, obviously, and the price of him goes up and down, up and down, and then over here actually spikes up to around 20,000 coins. Now, the reason why he would have spiked up to 20,000 coins is because there would have been an SBC around November time last year. I'm not too sure what it is off the top of my head. However, say, for example, you picked him up over here at the start of November at, say, 10,000 coins. Come the end of November, he's going for 20,000 coins, and that's a perfect way of understanding how investing works. You're basically picking up cards for cheaper on a different day. Then what you're doing is you're holding them until they're needed for a different SBC or a different event or whatever it may be. And then they will start to naturally rise in price. Another good thing that you can also do right now if you want to, if you want to do this with investing, is invest in 83s, 84s and 85s because Icon SBCs are going to be coming back in one month. So let's just quickly take a look at that. So lads, what you need to do, you need to go over to FIFA 21 players on Footbin and this is a good way of sort of monitoring prices. Now I'm not saying to go and invest in these players, please don't just just, just chill, just chill for a minute. Right, what you need to do, go over to these three little stars here. My webcam may be in the way, I'm not too sure where I'm gonna be placing it. Hopefully I can move it out the way. However, go over to filter and filter it by 84 rating. What you can do is then go over to this bit right here where it says order by PS price, or if you're on Xbox, it will be Xbox. Click it once and then click it again. And what it'll actually do is filter it by the cheapest 84 rated cards. As you can see at the minute, you can pick up 84 rated cards for as cheap as 3.8K at the minute. And then you've also got some other cards a bit further down but this is exactly what I'm talking about. When Icon SBCs come out, these cards are going to jump up to say 7,000, 8,000, 9,000 coins depending on what requirements EA have. So this again is something that I would definitely keep an eye on. Have a look at 83s, 84s. This is something that I used to do quite a lot in FIFA 18 is just investing in these cards and you can make yourself a lot of profit by doing this. But I think this is a pretty good explanation on how to invest in FIFA 21. If you want me to go in a bit more detail with it and talk about individual investing methods, please do let me know down in the comment section. If you want me to actually give investment I don't know, investment tips. I, I would want to give them you, but I wouldn't want to get anything wrong, but it is what it is in it. But let's jump back over to the road to glory anyway. All right, lads. So as you'll be able to see here, I am going to be completing the SBC for Huang He Chan. I really do hope that I'm pronouncing that name right. Please let me know in the comments if I'm not. However, it only requires a Bundesliga player minimum one. We've got that in there. Overall rating 82. And a lot of these players here, I'm not going to use in the squad for any reason. And we are going to be getting ourselves a nice ones to watch card for completing that, which I definitely cannot complain about. In my opinion, I think that this guy will get an upgrade. I've not a clue why that's loading so laggy. And so How are the menus so <laughs> bad this year. And there we go. We are going to be putting him in to the squad. And this is what the squad's looking like. Now, I do have... Ugh, I have Hernandez on off-chem. That's my only thing. I'm a goalkeeper as well, but goalkeepers are just trash anyway. 
I would ideally like Neuer in here. Like, quite obviously, I would like Neuer in here. I don't think that we will be able to get him anytime soon, though, because I think that he's going to be a Spenny do. However, introducing to you, this is going to be the new team that we are going to be using. I'm just looking at someone who I can chuck on the bench. Just someone with a bit of pace will do, because towards the end of the game, when you're absolutely on your ass, you need someone to come in with a bit of pace to sort of liven up the game a bit. So let's just go for, I was going to say Malong then, but he's only got 82 pace, but is he seriously the best that I've got? Is that, that it? Eight, 82 pace? Right, right, okay, so it looks like it's going to be him then. 82 pace, but let's, I do want to jump into a game with this new team. I'm going to leave all the custom tactics like this because I'm not too sure what to do with the team yet. And obviously we still need to play around with it a bit. This is hopefully going to be the team that I'm going to be taking into the weekend league. I am going to be looking for position modifiers for these two players because I can imagine it's triggering quite a few people and it will help out with the chem. Obviously we do somehow need to get Hernandez on full chem and we definitely need loads of different chem styles on these players as well. However though, let's jump into this game and let's see if we can hopefully come out with a win. Alright, let's, let's see what team we're going to be coming up against. Ooh, Dudley Athletic. Oh, Vardy. I hate Vardy. I hate, hate play against Vardy. I suppose he is. Is he off chem? I don't even know. Militao, he's got Lodi in there. He, he's got a good team. It's it's about as meta as you can get, to be honest. Let's hopefully come out with a win. Ball into the box. Oh my god, there's no one there. How, how, how was no one there? <laughs> oh, nice ball. Nice ball. Un unreal save. Unreal save. Not a clue how I've kept that out. Not a clue at all. Rodrigo. Up to Kappa. Not 100% sure what Kappa's doing there, but we've managed to get the ball through. Lorente, chip. Oh my god, you are joking me. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. There we go. 1 0. I dragged a man out. It's the same thing every time. I just drag a man out. And I don't know how to get used to it, to be honest. I'm really, really struggling with it. Oh, there we go. There we go, Rodrigo. Finally, we've managed to get it into the back of the net. A bit iffy. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Until I can defend, I am not saying anything about scoring goals and stuff like that. Scoring goals on this game, it's, it's a lot easier than defending them. Oh, obviously. Obviously, every time, front post, never. Oh, no, how, how, how? You rolled the ball just straight past me. Somehow got the ball in the back of the net. I, we could come out with a draw for this, but... I've really, really, really struggled defending, and I'm, I'm going to continue to struggle defending as well. This guy's going to try and waste time now because, I don't know, I, whatever, whatever, man. There's a man at the front post again. Whatever, boys. This is Betty Six. This has been another episode of my Road to Glory. Let Please let me know in the comments, like, what can I do? I, I'm genuinely struggling at the minute. I, I don't know what to do. This is 36 though, this has been another episode of The Road to Glory. I'm off. Bye. See you in a bit.